a lot of players visit club double double but there's only four vips that currently average a double double on a season in the wnba three of them we saw in action last night one there's a little mystery behind we'll talk about her last but first let's start with the barbie angel reese because she's been in this club for 12 games straight now 12 games straight with the double double tying candace parker who did it over multiple seasons angel reese has the longest individual season streak going on now 27 and 10 two blocks we've all seen the double doubles by now but what we haven't seen which we just saw in the clips two threes that she hit and also a pretty nice looking deep two she was a very efficient eight for 13 yes she did pick up two of her own misses with her 10 rebounds but hey i see a lot of women miss layups and not get their own rebounds if you're gonna go eight for 13 and two of those misses you cleaned up yourself by all means i'll take that there's no way you can turn that into a negative to me that's absolutely a positive what was also special about this performance was she was facing off against Ezzy Magbagor, who a lot of people felt was snubbed in the All-Star voting, and she went out there and proved, thoroughly outplayed her. She proved that she wasn't a popularity pick, that she's legit, which, I mean, most of us already knew already, but that was an emphatic statement that she made last night. Angel Reese with the jump shot is a top 10 player in the WNBA today. Take that with Kennedy Carter and the way she's lighting it up. She may be costing herself a six woman of the year award, by the way, but I'm not sure the rules on that. But she's starting it. She's lighting it up. And Camila Cardoso still not even playing her best. We'll probably see more from her after the Olympic break. We still haven't seen the woman that led Brazil to the gold and South Carolina to a championship in the same year. We'll see that soon. So a lot of teams don't want to face Chicago in the playoffs if they make it that much i'm sure about because they can definitely get you for two games 250 points and 200 rebounds in their first 20 games angel reese tina charles candace parker that's the list club double double legends the erica hamby she had a ball last night in club double double 28 and 14 and yes we know she does every time she faces the aces but she leads the league with 13 double doubles so it doesn't matter who's on the dance floor she's gonna get hers off we already know this now she had a chance to go for 30 but she smoked two free throws at the end of the game. Luckily for the Sparks, Rakia Jackson was right there to grab that offensive rebound, and they sealed the deal. But me personally, i like to see De'Erica Hamby sit the rest of these games out until the Olympics. We need her in that Olympic 3-on-3 tournament badly. I don't think there's any big that can replace her. I'm sure there's no plans on her or the Sparks' behalf to have her sit out any games, but I bet Team USA would love it if she did, and so would I. Rakia Jackson had a great first half. Three threes, 12 points. Erin McDonald, she exploded in the third quarter. Stephanie Talbot, she's been contributing all over the place for a couple of games in a row now. But it was Derrica Hamby that was there from start to finish, as usual, and there's a reason that she's a regular club double-double. It's not the music. It's not that good, as you can hear. <laughs> she is. Now, Asia Wilson didn't get the win, so we won't stay here long, but 35 and 12 with six blocks can't be ignored. It has to be acknowledged. Now, she did this earlier this season. She had 36 and 12 with six deals. And a win against the Wings, becoming the first WNBA player ever to have 35, 10, and 5 in a single game. So, this isn't something that she hasn't done before. We are sure that she'll do it again in the win, and we'll talk about it more then. But right now, something that's a little bit more pressing, at least in my opinion, is what's going on with Nafisha Collier? We saw that she had a non-contact injury. It was disclosed to be a foot injury and not an ankle injury, which, according to some medical people, is good news. But... We haven't heard any updates since then. Now, I was waiting to even touch on this story until we got some type of confirmation or MRI reports, but but it hasn't gone quite the same way that it did when Cameron Brink suffered her injury. We found out the next morning, and I was able to go ahead and put a video out and then speculate as to who I thought would be her replacement in the Olympics. All we've heard from the Minnesota camp so far is that she's questionable with a sore foot. Or is it doubtful? Yeah, she's doubtful with a sore foot. Now, I don't know. I'm no conspiracy theorist, but damn it, I'm doubtful too. Because we all know that Cheryl Reeve, Minnesota Lynx coach, is also the coach of the Team USA, women's basketball team. Well, if you didn't know, now you know. And listen, I love Nafisha Collier. MVP candidate, defensive player of the year candidate. Gets a lot done as a 6-1 forward. But I'm not for anybody going and playing on Team USA on some type of minutes restriction or being hidden on a bench just because the coach wants her player to get the Olympic experience. And they've been a little vague on this injury report. Now, I'm not accusing anybody of anything yet. For all I know, maybe her foot is just sore and she'll be back before the Olympic break. This is just speculation on my end. 
But I just find it a little bit odd that we haven't really heard any updates in over 24 hours now. So I'm keeping my eye on that. That's a developing story. That's where I'll end the speculation. I won't mention any other names or any other possible replacements at this point in time. But please believe I'm keeping a close eye on this situation. Because we're not going to stand for that. Coach Reeves, what's going on? We need to know. Listen, I'll end this here. The club's about to close. This is the last call. <laughs> I got to stick with the thing. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, peace.